In this video, we're gonna cover the process of building a live website on a web host. If you already follow the process to install WordPress locally and create a local website, you can skip this video for now and just come back here whenever you decide the time is right to go ahead and publish your site. For the rest of us, remember this is the process that I recommend for most people because at the end of this, you're gonna have a real website that's live on the web that you can share and send people to. So to do that, you're gonna need a couple of things. Number one is a domain name, and number two is a web hosting account. A domain name is your website's unique address on the web. So think google.com, wordpress.org, wikipedia.org, example.net, these are all domain names. Your web hosting account is like your website's home. It's where your website lives, it's where your site's files are stored, and again, it's like renting a little slice of a server that connects your website to the public internet. So the easiest method is to get both of these things from the same company. For this course, we're actually gonna use our own Gigapress web hosting. We started hosting websites for clients after years of working with sites like Bluehost and GoDaddy because we felt that they did not deliver a good mix of affordability, speed, and security. Now, you're not required to use our hosting. You can follow a very similar process with any web host, but what you're gonna see on screen is what that process looks like with the Gigapress hosting specifically. To get started, go over to our course tools page, wpcoursetools.com, which has all of the resources needed for this course. You're going to see this section right here where it says find your perfect domain name and get it for free. So this tool is going to do a couple of things. First and foremost, you can enter any domain name that you're thinking about here, and it'll tell you if it's available along with some other potential ideas. So you can enter any idea you have for the name of your website with or without an extension, and you'll see a variety of options that you can register for your site. So for example, we can type example.com, click search, and you're gonna see that unfortunately example.com is unavailable, and so are all these other extensions. Uh, but if we enter something a little more original, like gigapresstestsite.com, we're gonna see that that one is available. Now, the other thing this tool is going to do is when you click claim this name, it's going to pop you over to Gigapress Hosting and allow you to register that domain name for free. So find a domain name that you're interested in, go ahead and run it through that tool, and once you find one that you like, click claim this name. The system will run some additional checks to make sure it's able to be purchased, and then click use this domain. I would recommend registering your domain for one year though you can pick a longer period of time if you want to. I also do recommend adding domain privacy and protection. Let me explain what this is, and I'll show you a little example here. When you register a domain name, your information as the owner of that domain name will be listed in the public who is records. So that basically just shows who owns what domain name and how you can contact them. So typically, when you register a domain name, you're going to see your name, your email address, your phone number. All of this is going to be listed in the public database as the owner of your domain name. When you add the domain privacy service, Gigapress essentially acts as your agent. So instead of having your name, your address, your phone number, it's going to show their address, their phone number, their email address, all of these things, so that your personal information stays private. This prevents spam or people contacting you directly by looking up the domain's owner information. Next, it'll bring you over to where you can select your web hosting plan. Now, we've got three plans here, Starter, Advanced, and Online Store. Honestly, for a brand new website, Starter is gonna be just fine. You can see all of the stats here, and you see that that domain name is included for free. And all of these plans do have 75% off for the first year if paid up front, and they come with basic SSL. So we can go ahead and click select on the starter plan, and then here, click next. 
Go ahead and review your order to make sure everything is correct. Here you can enter your account information, just some basic stuff like your name, address, phone number, email address, all of that. And then click check out now. Lastly, it will generate an invoice. Click pay and it'll direct you to enter your payment details, then click submit payment to get everything set up. Once done, we'll send you an email asking you to verify your email address to activate your domain name. Make sure you hop over there and do that real quick because otherwise your domain name will not be activated and your website will not be accessible. So it's very important that you open that email, click that link to verify your email address, and then you can come back and proceed with the next part of the process. So once you've verified your email address, you can go over to the client area, the top right-hand corner of gigapress.net, then click login to cPanel. Now the next thing before we move forward is to create a password for your WordPress account. Here you'll see that WordPress has already been installed and is waiting for you to configure it. So click on WP Toolkit on the left-hand side, then click Setup and update your password and email address to be used for your WordPress admin account. Now to be clear, this is separate from your GigaPress account. Your WordPress account is just for this interface where you manage your website. Now, how do you access your WordPress site? Well, your domain name is probably not active yet. It's gonna take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours for your domain name to fully activate. So that's why under WP Toolkit, you can see a button called Login. This will allow you to log in directly from cPanel. However, in the future, you will be able to go to your domain slash WP dash admin. So in my case, it would be gigapresstestsite.com slash WP dash admin. That is gonna be where you log into your WordPress site, where you manage your content, manage your themes. Everything about your website is gonna be managed there. But again, this may take a little bit before you can actually go directly to that link. So in the meantime, you can log in through cPanel. I hope that's not too confusing. Again, you will be able to access this through your domain name. It just takes some time for it to activate. So at this point, we're ready to start managing our website. So we're gonna click this button here that says log into WordPress. This is gonna open your WordPress dashboard. Now I know there's a lot going on here and it's gonna look pretty overwhelming at first. So when we come back in the next video, we're gonna go through all of this dashboard and give you a full tour. Make sure you know where everything is within the WordPress interface.